Hello fam, welcome back on the channel. Guys, Morgan Shinimpa content and yeah, we continue where we left off. We're doing the story teasers, guys. I am absolutely loving these from uh, the version trailers, the character demos and all the videos I've seen from Genshin Impact so far. The story teasers are my favorite because I am getting to learn a lot. I am aware that I am getting spoiled a bit, but guys, with my memory, with my short term memory, don't I wouldn't worry about it. I can't remember anything. By the time I'm going to start playing this game, I'm not going to remember anything from what I've seen. <laughs> few bits i register you know it is what it is look let's just jump into it um i am excited to do this we left off at um clip 18 which was uh, lost legacies in the sand so we're gonna jump away uh, straight away into uh, into clip 19 called uh, the divine will mm -hmm. let's just go man. it took three betrayals for me to finally understand the world is just an elaborate tapestry of lies. My fury will never be quelled. The first to betray me was a god, my creator, my mother. Who's this? Is this the wonder? strength above all. She saw no worth in me and I was discarded. The second was a human. My family. My friend. Oh, no. Consumed by fear, he saw me as an abomination. Fuck. The third was one exactly like me. A hope for the future. A fledgling barely out of the nest. Powerless before his mortality, he broke his promise to me. Humans, they can't be trusted. And the gods fill me with pure loathing. So I said good riddance. <laughs> I denounced the world and laugh in its face. <laughs> My chest will never again be defiled by worldly filth. I will scrub away every last trace of human emotion. Then it will be empty, a blank slate, and ready to receive a supreme gnosis, brimming with pure divinity. Mm. <laughs> there is no need to fear. The pain will be brief. Your era is coming to an end. What is this? I don't remember seeing him before. My memory, there you go again. You know what I mean? He looks he looked familiar in the last panel now he looked familiar a bit. Anyway, let's go. Um of ballads and brews, event concern the wind returns for the fair fair brew. Hmm. Guys, I just came back from work. It's lashing outside. I'm so happy to be inside here, cozy and watching these videos. You know what I mean? Best part of the day, definitely. don't remember the name of this flower uh, we used to have them a lot in Romania and we used to blow them up and Take make a wish cross it and place it on the fracture I don't know the word Listen, is in English promise me you'll live on this is where you must stay you are our only hope Forgive me, Kaya. Mm.
You left her here. Good, very good. That's my boy. I will always be proud of you. Talking about drinking, I think I'm gonna open up a beer soon. <sighs> After all the time we spent on it, the wine still isn't ready. <laughs> May as well leave it for our son. Raisin. Or a glass of wine. What do you think of that name? Oh, an adventurer's name. Yes. Oh yeah. Like it. Okay. Razor, that's such a badass name, and Razor, I love that name. <laughs> I know a character in Hunter x Hunter who has that name, and he's a badass. If you have that name, you have to be a badass. It's a given, you know? That was a nice, cool, chill one. Very mellow. The first Sage of Buir. Guys, hold on a second. Some wine is required because boom, I am freezing. Let's go. The first stage of where? Oh yeah, the fight with with Anel. <laughs> It's crazy, man. Look how he's huge. Ooh. Mm. Fuck. This design is so sick, guys. Oh? Huh? No. Stop with that. Was that not hit there? This is supposed to be a battle between gods, yet you choose to hide behind a mortal. And now, your protection like squad, let's go. Yourself for a human. Are you having Guys, hold on a second. false sense of heroism? Like you'd sacrifice yourself for a human. Are you having fun proving a false sense of heroism to yourself, Boor? Protection squad, let's go. What on use? The data collection is almost complete. Do you even know how many times you've tried to take my gnosis from me? <laughs> mm. Oh, guys, hold on a second. Sorry, my cat's trying to get in the house. These cats, man, they're gonna be the death of me one day. We just concluded the 168th loop. <gasps> Did you know that in the effort to create you? The people of Sumeru were forced to live through the exact same number of Subzerus festivals and Samsara cycles. The power of dreams. When did you use it on me? Hmm. She was quick. She was quick. <laughs> oh, so cute. You can't even defeat me in a dream. What do you hope to achieve with this little trick? <laughs> Come, Traveler. Just like before. Allow me to awaken the memories in your dreams. What? All that battle experience! It's more than that. Compile everyone's wisdom in the name of the Archon. Hmm. That is the original function of the Akasha. She's I so smart and knowledgeable, Nahida. Now to the people of Sumeru in the form of knowledge, I've asked them to help you find a way to defeat the false god. 
All right. Collective effort at its best. Huh. Sino. Nilo. Tinari. Everybody's contributing into this. All of Sumeri's wisdom is at your disposal. Let's go. Meaningless tricks won't save you. I will. I guess we'll see about that. Won't we? Could see into the future a bit. That was so sick. Oh man, I can't get over his design. His design is just insane. <laughs> Are you done with your tricks? Can I finally take this as a real battle between gods? Hmm. I'll leave this to you. The first sage of Boar. The first sage of Boer. No, that's the name of the video, actually, also, yeah? That was really cool. That was really cool. I enjoyed that. Cutscene animation. A dream of falling branches. Let's go. We all nestle under the great tree of wisdom, peering out to perceive the world. From the earth and from the rain, we perceive its wonders until we become a white bird to perch atop a branch and finally snap off the most important leaf. So cute, man. I swear. Once upon a time, I alone dreamed in this world. Mm. In my dreams, everybody would also dream after they fell asleep. Wild and wonderful thoughts would emerge from this, their minds. Oh, this tree reminds Some me of Yggdrasil. And others floated to the sky. Connecting all things in the world into one dazzling net. Among a plethora of worlds were numerous smaller worlds. All of fate, finding within the tapestry their brilliant glow. I gradually understood that these indescribable and constantly changing things are the most profound things in the world. Only they can completely repel the madness. Only dreams can awaken consciousness from the deepest darkness. That's her. Or what's going on here? Like, I don't understand, like... Um... I am a bit lost, you know? I. Mm. But this is gorgeous, guys. <clears throat> Nonetheless, I'm the it's... one who posed this question, yet also the one who sought a solution. Saving the world with the dreams of the people used to be my answer, and now you've also found your own answer, and I shall return all the dreams to the people. Mm. Oh, the music is gorgeous. After this, I'm gonna do the concert straight away, guys. Goodbye, people of Sumeru. May you be blessed tonight. Man, I, I, get, I get so emotional, you know what I mean? I don't even know the story that well. It's just so crazy how much... How much feelings and, and emotion they can instill, you know, with the right music, the right voice actors and some nice visuals, you know, you get a bit, of, you get, you know, you, <clears throat> they bring you down, on, in, hold on a second, they bring you down into that, that, like, that that state of mind where you can get a, a bit emotional and i'm not even emotionally invested in this game you know like i haven't even played the game guys you know but i still feel i feel that you know like it, the execution of this teaser is just not just that one the the previous one but the the ones i've seen before some of them are just so well done that they you know they break a tear on your on your face like you know it's just crazy okay this one is called akitsu haneasobi um 
All right. A human samurai once stumbled across the Mikawa Flower Festival. Let's go. Samurai once stumbled across the Mikawa Flower Festival. Huh? What's a human doing here? We erected the barrier, didn't we? Ah, uh, what a pain. Oh, look at his design. Oh my goodness, I thought it's Tanjiro for, from Demon Slayer for a second. His design is... Let's go. Kai at the festival began discussing how to drive away the human. This is so cool. I heard a voice. This is our festival. And the point is to have fun. What difference does it make if a human joins us, Yokai? <laughs> yokai the Festival. appeared to be a prominent figure among the Yokai, and when he spoke, the other Yokai fell silent. Mm. You said, young man, do you drink sake? Uh, yes, I do. Ha! Then join us! We can enjoy tonight's festivities together! <laughs> and so, the Yokai and Samurai celebrated together. The two competed in the highlight of the festival, the Akitsu Hazara. Their spectacular game ended in a draw, and a new friendship was forged. <laughs> I can't believe a human could keep up with me! Witnessing the dynamic powers of the yokai will certainly help hone my swordsmanship. You're a swordsman? Oh, yes, I'm currently traveling the world in search of formidable opponents. Don't you think it's just so coincidence that he's so... I mean, I know he's, they said he's a samurai, but I just think that's such a crazy take on the thing that he's, he looks like Tanjiro. But anyway, let's just go, let's just go. Then let's make a deal. We meet for a duel every 10 years. What do you say? Hmm. I look forward to it. Mm. The samurai was about 25 years old when they met at the festival. They met again 10 years later and remained friends. Let's go. They spent time together drinking, traveling, and sparring. When they had first met, they merely respected each other. But no way. Later, they became I'm gonna kill you. What you... To go on muddy the PC. I had some pictures, guys, on the furniture like that, and they were like pinned with this thing. He broke that pin on. The... Can't hope with them sometimes, man. I swear. Let's go. Came best friends. After the... another decade, the samurai had reached the pinnacle of his swordsmanship. Mm. And won their duel by a narrow march. All right. Kamai was so astonished by his defeat, he gave up drinking and Amai. began training to become stronger for their next duel. All right. However, another ten years later, Kamai did not meet the samurai. As it turned out, war had broken out in the south, and the samurai had gone to defend the border. Kamai was unconcerned. Because ten years was nothing in a yokai's lifetime. But when they met once again, Kamai discovered that the samurai was already 65 years old. He couldn't believe his eyes when he saw the samurai's gray hair and... 65? He was 25. Then they met up when he was 35 in the pinnacle of his... So was my ship. Then they were supposed to ah oh yeah, they're supposed to meet up in ten years and they couldn't 55, 65. Alright, for me, for me, for me. For a second there I thought let's go, let's go. He's old exactly. Scars covering his body. Hey old friend. Can you still wield the sword? <sighs> I'm getting too old to fight. <sighs> this time. I've come to say goodbye. I see. Then, how about one last game of Akitsu Hazara? <sighs> All right. The samurai gave his best effort during the game, but had to quit halfway through because he was too weak. After putting down his agoita. You're 65. Stop bitching around. Like I love this story. It's so cool. But come on, you're 65, man. Like stop with the bullshit. All right. Kamai remained silent for a long time before letting out a long sigh. Hmm. This is sad, man. What a 
الشام Oh man, what a shame it finished here. Um, I was, guys, I was absolutely loving this story. I had the feeling from the beginning it's gonna turn out in a, you know, like in a sad way and they're gonna leave us hanging, you know what I mean? Oh. They're killing me, they're fucking killing me with these teasers, you know, they're not letting us, like, exp ask. Let's go. Lantern, I am loving these guys. I am loving these. Lantern, right, stop motion animation, joyous festivities. Let's go, man. They didn't give us... I, my head is still there with, with the samurai, even the yokai. They didn't even give us... They didn't even finish that match and then they just... They just ended it on a, such a sad note, you know what I mean? Like... Fuck me, man. How to celebrate land? Okay, let's go. You know, now I want to know more about that story. I know it's kind of like a s small fable, but still. What's the conclusion of that? You know, that he couldn't fight him, but whatever. I wanted the yokai to turn him into a yokai, you know, and they could have lived happily ever after. You know what I mean? <laughs> Mmm, set off. This is looking cute. This is a different kind of art style. You know what I mean? Hang, Hang Zhao, Xiao, Xiao. Yue, Yue Gui, Yi Gi. Guys, I'm. I don't. I'm not. Sh I, I'm not confident in myself when I'm pronouncing the Chinese names. But if I would hear the correct pronunciation, I would be uh, perfectly able to replicate it. You know, because I can replicate any kind of accent and say any kind of word. I don't have any trouble in pronunciation. But just reading them, I I wouldn't know. Endless suffering. Short trail. Okay, evil takes on many forms, but always carries a karmic curse. Many forms, but always carries a karmic curse. Oh, that's my boy. It spawns monsters that lurk in the mountains where the adepti dwell, mm. preying on the living for decades. It manifests as devastating pestilences, scarring the world for mm. centuries. I'm gonna pause for a second. Knowing what I know about the other four yaksha guys, it just makes me. I don't know, it just makes me feel sad a bit, you know? It is I feel like he's alone, duty you know? Of the Yaksha to purge all evil. You know what I mean? I think I, it gives me the feeling that he's fighting a, a, a solitary battle, like... Karma takes its hold. Mmm. A moment of complacency, and I too will succumb to the darkness. All right. An instant of negligence, and it will turn me into one of the monsters I swore to purge. Stay strong, my man. His design is so cool. Suffering and endless slaughter. I now see things for what they really are. Mm. You slept the whole day through, you know. Good thing you're awake. You're just in time for the lantern rite. You just snake the risk, guys. I carried you here on my back. I'll go get you some medicine now. Oh, she's so drowsy, like so in a daze, like her voice is so mellow. Did I scare you? Don't worry, this mask is to scare 
scary monsters. It really works. You don't need to be afraid. Huh? Are you okay? You look tired. Grandpa, give him some rice wine pudding. Rice wine pudding? I want some of that. That sounds fucking great. Rice wine? Mmm. Well, hello there. Care Speaking to of wine. On this fine evening? Huh? Oh, you started celebrating already. Any rice wine for me? Eh? Hey, I've so, never had rice wine, not, guys. I just want to rest. <laughs> Very nice. <sighs> it's good to take the mask off once in a while. Even just for one night. Hmm. I wonder uh, if that's that's a self-reference also, you know what I mean? Interesting. Nice one, nice one. I like that. Echoes of the heart. In times gone by, one quarreled oft with Gui Zhang concerning mechanical principles. We each had our ideals, and neither would yield. Under the pretext of a social gathering, one invited the impartial Rex Lapis to judge the quality of our creations. But Rex Lapis declared that Gui Zhang's obscuro vulpus mechanism was superior. Though one was too proud to acknowledge it, in one's heart, one knew that Gui Zhang was indeed the superior talent in the mechanical arts. As for the story between Gui Zhang and Streetward Rambler, that begins with a certain bell. In Gui Zhang's opinion, while mechanisms were no substitute for human composers, they were yet capable of producing simple but fine melodies. But Streetwood Rambler believed music to be an expression of the soul. It's in a that, look at that, that's so gorgeous, guys. Emotional enterprise that could never hope to be replicated by machinery. Mm. They argued endlessly until one asked Rex Lapis to intercede. He All confiscated right. the bell and designated it for ceremonial use. Thereafter, one would often find them convening in the mountains. Discussing music, mechanics, and all the affairs of the mortal world. But these good times were not to last. War broke out between the gods, and soon engulfed the Guili Plains. Gui Zhang was overpowered by the enemy, and fell in battle. When mm. Streetwood Rambler and I arrived at the scene at long last, all that remained among the ruins was her lifeless body. After this, at Streetward Rambler's request, Rex Lapis granted her the cleansing bell for safekeeping. Mm, cleansing. To honor our friend's memory, one made a few finishing touches this. to her ballistic device. This is looking gorgeous, guys. Many Absolutely gorgeous. Have passed since then. Many greetings and goodbyes. Upon what do you gaze? The Gwaili Plains? No. It's everything. We think of human life as like a lantern that's lit one minute and extinguished the next. But are we adepti so different? Perhaps as dust settles after a storm, we too must one day return to the world below. Hmm. guys one second i just want to ask this you know i just want to put this out there hmm, i don't i don't know what what adepti uh, means you know what i mean they've been they've been showcased two or three times so far in the in the teasers but i don't really know what they are you know adepti are like let's say from my understanding they're like scholars or like people have that maybe transcended humanity and you know like let's say you know like special people let's just say like that i don't know i don't even know if they're humans or not but even in the the one yeah i think so i don't know if you can clear that out uh, Clear it up for me, I would really appreciate it, you know what I mean? I heard this this name twice or three times. I haven't really done my own research on it, you know what I mean? 
just to put this out there, I don't really know what it means. I mean, I, I know their characters like this, but I, I just don't know what kind of class they're, they're falling in. You know, that's, that's all. The exquisite night chimes cuts in a brilliant banquet of music. I am loving these, man. They... I do prefer the ones that are fashion, on the but these ones have their, their own kind of beauty, you know what I mean? One of my favorite female characters, Hu Tao. Ah, <laughs> let's go, man. I'm gonna go to holiday in a few weeks, guys. Can't wait. Gonna be a lot of partying. Let's go! My girl has has like rhymes. Nice one. Does anyone have any plans tomorrow? With another year behind us, I think we deserve a celebration of our own. Hmm. My trip. Absolutely. Interested? The Tian Xuan footing the bill? <laughs> I can't miss out on that. <laughs> Proper freeloader. <gasps> my man is still catching bodies. People are out having like fucking drinks, and my man is just here murking like everybody, you know? Like, I love it. I told you, he is fighting a solitary battle. He's a lone wolf. I love it. I like it. I really like his character. You know what they say, a real man puts in work in the dark when nobody can see him in all time. And well done. Well done. Blessed one, I believe it shall be. <laughs> Master, the Shao Lanterns. Shao, that's how you pronounce it. Shao. Uh, elementary, one shall fashion for you a Shao Lantern, the likes of which the world has never seen. And all right. Take it to Liuai Harbor to display its magnificence for all. They created such an incredible unit, like such an incredible world, you know what I mean? I wish. Guys, I, I, I just want to say something. I wish that, you know, like in 10 years, 15 years from now on, the AI, you know, like not the AI, what am I on about AI? Uh, the virtual reality, the VR, uh, the VR, I hope the VR gonna, you know what I mean? They're gonna reach a level where the immersion into the VR gonna be so realistic that, you know, it's, you know, the, the sensation of playing a game in VR would be so compelling and addictive 
that you would spend so much time in it like i would have no problem with that you know like i i the, i've never experienced vr headsets uh from now because i have a friend who has it and he said you you can't really play it more than an hour or two you get a bit of you know like a nauseous feeling i'm sure they're perfecting it day by day week by week month by month year by year but until then you know what i mean until they come up with some break break breaking breakthrough invention you know in, until they exceed that platform you know until they're gonna be able to link give you an, like a neurological link where you're gonna have to when you're gonna jump in the game and actually feel and i do think that's gonna come maybe not in 10 years but in 20 years from now on i think that's gonna be fact reality and i can't wait i can't wait for that day you know what i mean i'm gonna be 70 and be on the vr you know that's that's just facts the majors tea party let's go ever heard of the hexen circle as the spooky name suggests it's a secret society mm. once upon a time it even challenged the animal archon himself but he replied let us make music not war and resolve our conflicts through song all right From then on the mages would only ever convene in the woods in the skies or on the edges of cliffs this At wine is parties, lovely yes. they discussed lovely. their stories and secrets and resolved their differences as the tea and cakes bore witness to their pledge never to fight amongst themselves yesterday i snuffed out the life of my beloved he had grown old and was extremely sick he loved me dearly, so I took his fate in my hands and ended his pain. I'm raising a son. Mm. Of all the I children don't know if I would I had, agree with that. He's the only one left. People should die from natural causes, unless they are in a massive pain. Uh, you know what I mean? They should be like. Anyway, this is. <laughs> I'm not gonna go down on that road for now. Mother. My lifespan is nothing compared to yours, so I wish to leave you with my storybook. Actually, maybe you can pass it on to your children one day. Oh, this looks interesting. Let me scry. My dear sisters, we mustn't let prophecies threaten our bonds of friendship. Even the most frightening witch was once a little girl. And growing up can be so tough. Sometimes we all need to vent our troubles to the wind. Even if the nations go to war, or the sky falls down, the mages' tea parties shall forever be held around this table. All right. Okay. I don't know what to think about this trailer. It, it was something like new. Uh, it didn't really link me with any of the elements that I've seen through, through the story so far. But I do love mages and magic, so it was, it was wholesome. This one is called uh, Homecoming. Alright, let's go. Beautiful moments. Your power. No. Hmm. You know it would come to this. All yeah. the knowledge, language, and emotions that you have learned will be reverted into pure elemental energy. In your new homeland, nothing of who you were will remain. You won't be remembered by anyone. Mm. Is that truly the return you've always dreamed of? Hmm. Lord of Dendro, don't be sad. Oi. This is not your home. We go home. Lord of Dendro should also go home. All right. Awaken. 
guys, for a second, that big mushroom, I thought, I don't know why, but I think in the previous story teasers or character demos, somebody was fighting with it. So I thought it's a villain, but it doesn't look like it. Long you know, ago, thought it's a monster. When plagues ravaged. Chang Sheng. Let's go. The land. One doctor made a pledge to rid the world of pain and suffering. But even the most ingenious mortal medicine could not stay the tide of disease. And after working tirelessly for many years, even his dearest loved ones fell sick mm. and bade their final farewell. Imagine how hopeless. Uh, Legends told of an herb lord in Chen Yu Vale who could cure any illness known to mankind. Mm. The doctor sought the herb lord, but found only a white snake. It's breathing weak and its power it's all snake, but sent. Find this contract and let our lives be joined. Then I will impart to it you is. the secret art of healing. Listen to that voice. Mind, this art will harm your own health. With means beyond human I love pen, it. the doctor could now reverse the process of death. Mm. And yet, the time still came to say goodbye. Only now, the one departing was the doctor, his life force spent. His final act in life was to pass on the contract to his final patient, his favorite disciple. The disciple chose to dedicate their life to saving it's the good lives investment. of others. Good investment. You and place generation the good man. upon generation followed in these footsteps. Nice. <laughs> 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 Since I inherited this contract, I've always respected the path taken by my predecessors and followed it myself unquestioningly. Nice. That is, until I tried to use the art to save my own disciples, beloved. She begged me not to use up my own life force. She said that this art is a poison chalice an evil and unnatural practice. She did not wish to sacrifice one life for the sake of another, mm. when both were lives she treasured. Only then did it occur to me. Did I not suffer when my master passed away, just as patients' families do at their loved one's deathbed? Are not the lives cut short by this contract just as worthy of saving as any patience. What is this contract to hmm. us? Medicine or poison? Alas, I no longer have enough time left to find the answer. You saved so I many lives so far, and it is medicine. And this final question. Hmm. May you find a remedy for this conundrum. Yeah. Which has ailed us so. Mm. Time and again, no matter how much I try to warn them or balance their chi, I can never save them. Mm. Snake you, is all done. What's huh? your answer? If I abandoned the contract and left you without a host, what would happen? Hmm. I suppose I'd spend my final moments taking a nice nap on Mount Yaojin. Then I'd be reunited with my <laughs> old friends. And your predecessors. Then it's decided. If there's a life in front of me that deserves to be saved, why shouldn't I do everything within my power to save it? <sighs> Once again, it's the same answer. So be it. Close your eyes. Who knows how many more people will take on this contract? None. This contract will end with me. You know what they say is um, power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely. <clears throat> I do understand that his act uh, is based on a selfless principle and on the desire to help somebody. <clears throat> but also you have to limit yourself, you know, when, you know, you can't save everybody. 
you know, this is how I feel. I think he would have done, I mean, then again, you can say, what, what is this power good for if I can save the person in front of me? So I don't understand, you know what I mean? But I don't know. I don't know. Let's just go. Let's just go. This is a, a debate for a stream, you know what I mean? Where we can sit down and and just chat and um, share principles, you know what I mean? Life principles. For now, let's just go. Oh, looks like Layla sees the diadem. What's the name of this? But getting to the goal won't a be easy. A parade of providence, even custom crown of glory. I love the fact that these these teasers are a bit longer now towards the end. You know what I mean? They're like uh, three minutes, four minutes long. I'm loving this. is heating up. Oh. And here's Kabe bringing up the rear. I'm loving the music in the background this kid. Oh. Sai know my boy. He's catching bodies everywhere he goes. Do not mess with him. I think he's my favorite character, guys. You know what I mean? Visually at least. Visually, I think he's my favorite one. It just looks so good, you know what I mean? That little... Throwing the diadem to its owner. Mm. You got punk. <laughs> yes, that's right. Put the diadem in place. And you shall gain all you desire. Mm. Who are you? I need you to get out of my head. I am confident that you will not disappoint what me. What is going on, guys? What just happened to me? Huh? What is this? Something's wrong. He's hyperventilating and he looks dizzy. Hmm. Who's this? Is that was that guy the story the guy who was telling us that story last time then I stopped and I was talking about religion and all that kind of stuff. He was talking about the Archon which Archon was he on about? He was on about Rex Lapis? No. I think so. Hmm? I might be wrong. That was... that was... Was that not him? Hmm, I might be wrong. Anyway, cutscene animation, A Wish Upon Shooting Stars. Huh? Guys, I've seen my share fair of shooting stars and every time I did I made a wish and guess what one of them actually happened but that was it <laughs> the other ones no Whoa, don't, don't drag her. <laughs> Whoa, okay, that was a big jump. This looks beautiful. Shooting stars going up. Okay, that's new. <laughs> Sheesh. 
she is riding they are riding a shooting star can you imagine doing something like this in real life that would be like crazy guys sometimes i wonder why we don't live i mean i'm gonna say something but after i, I finish watching this video this is looking gorgeous what if she fell Narukami vibes. <laughs> they look good together. I think they're brother and sister in it. I meant they look good together design wise, you know. Don't get it twisted, guys. This ain't porn hub, you know what I mean? Step sister and so on and so on. You know what I'm on about you know what I'm on about. Let's go. Story teaser Treasure, Treasures of the Deck. What I wanted to say is, I completely forgot. Let's just fly. My dear friend, you must be wondering why I'm leaving you a letter like this. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just remembered. I gotta address this real quick, guys. You know what? I was thinking that sometimes, you know, when I see these movies like Avatar or, or all these kind of movies, uh, science fiction movies, you know, like interplanetary um, travels and all these kind of like... Uh, water worlds you know uh, or anime or all these kind of things you know that are fiction basically you know what i mean i am thinking like wow i would like to live in a world like that where, where they have this kind of like power system or where they have th this kind of like way of traveling um you know where you know th that they have three sons and they live like 300 years on average and all these kind of things depending on 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 which show you want you know you probably at least once you thought about it i would like to live in this universe in this world you know what i mean well i'm gonna tell you something you know like we are you know we are of course our world is not perfect you know you know we have wars we have corruption we have all of these kind of things but just think about it you know and we do live in an um, absolutely amazing and beautiful planet, you know. We, we, we have so many beautiful things to explore and so many things to see that we, a lifetime is not enough, you know what I mean. Do you know when this idea came to my head that we are living in a perfect world? Not a perfect world, but in a magical world, like... <clears throat> I'm gonna say it really short. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go off on a, on a story vibe. But I'm gonna have to tell you like one uh, one instance that happened to me. I was on a holiday. Guys, I don't know if you've ever seen flying fish. Like I don't even knew that flying fish existed. You know, and I was I was in Tenerife in Spain once a few years ago, about five six years ago, with a friend of mine. We were driving on a jet ski and a bank of flying fishes came out we were like 40 miles on the water that's re really fast for jesse on the water we were just like zooming in into the water and a, a whole bank i think they're called a bank you know the way same way you say a murder of crows you would say a bank of fish i think i'm not sure 100 percent, but a bank of fish just spurred out blasted out and then they started flying I had like flying fishes on my left ear, right ear, all over us. There was like 20, 25 of them. Guys, they fly for about 100 meters. You can look it up on the internet. It's absolutely insane that something like that exists. I never knew. And that moment for me was like one of the best moments of my life. Of course, not the best moment, but one of the best moments of my life like i i i was just starstruck i think that's kind of like the word you know uh to, to to explain that feeling anyway 
But what I'm trying to say, you know, I just gave that as an example because I wanted to uh, to address that, you know, we can experience so many things on this planet, and we just have to we just have to you know put in the work or you know travel there, do this, do that. I do understand, you know, that's not feasible or accessible for everybody. But what I'm trying to say is that we live in a magical world. Um, and another thing that came into my head was when I, uh, when I seen, <clears throat> I seen the inspirations that certain mangaka artists draw in, you know, the, like for example, the guy who, you know, don't Pokemon or like One Piece Oda, uh, they get inspired from, from like, you know, they inspire their drawings and their islands and so on and so forth, characters and all that based on their, they are based on real life characters, real places. And, and and the resemblance between those places and the actual uh, artwork that they draw in is just so uncanny. It's just, there's places in this world that you wouldn't believe exists. Guys, I've seen waterfall, a waterfall coming up. I've seen a waterfall of snow, not an avalanche, but a waterfall. You know, there's just a designated place where a waterfall was coming down, like a waterfall bobo was like snow was snow instead of water in Switzerland a few years back. You know, there's just so many places on earth that will leave you like uh, like that, you know what I mean? But anyway, anyway, <laughs> I went off in it. Let's just go, man. Just I, what I want to say is, guys, just the feeling of gratitude, you know, and and then, ah, you know, you know what I mean? Sometimes, you know, because I have days when I feel like under the weather, you know, what I mean? but then I'm thinking like, fuck me, man, I'm alive, you know, this, this, this planet, this life that we have, you know, it's just so, so fast and temporary and we have to enjoy it to the max. Let's just go. I'm enjoying it right now, man. Treasures of the deck. Let's go. Because what do we have in store? Hey, Gulab, I'm here. How are you feeling today? I got to tell you, I had an idea for another card last night. Huh? What's that you're writing? <laughs> it's nothing. <sighs> okay. Anyway, up for a game? You don't have to visit every day, you know. You should be focusing on your work at the academia. Hey, enough of that. I'll keep visiting until you've fully recovered. Besides, I can't stand most of the folks at the academia anyway. Hey, it's your turn. Gula, are you okay? <coughs> Garvey Pitum. You must. His name is Garvey Pitum. That sounds like a painkiller. I gotta be honest with you guys. Not even trying to be funny, but I gotta say something. That these stories, yeah, they're making such. They are so realistic in 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 the sense that they present to you with all life situations. You know. Like, for example, the story with the samurai and uh, the yokai. You know, it felt like a story of unfulfilled promise. Now you have a sick friend before, you know, like you have helplessness. You have all of these kind of things that these are like the, you know, in a way, tragedies of life. But they do, they do, they do make a part of 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 life you know what i mean you have you know happy days and and bad days and and i think this game relays that so well i think that's why people love this game because on a subconscious level they went they 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 give you all of this all this bundle of emotions you know what i mean that you can can't help but but associate you know like game events or situations or or whatever you want to call them with with your own personal struggles or happy moments or bad moments and i just think they're doing such a good job with that you know let's just go let's just go just understand guys i'm talking a lot today you know what i mean i do hey, apologize that like i that. i hope it's you not like turning you off like you know, it's not off in your <sighs> It's because you won't come to terms with the fact that I don't have long left. Guess what? This game we invented is the wine. It's getting pretty popular here in the hospital. Don't blame it on the wine. Really? That's great Focus. news. It's yeah. the wine. 
I've even made a device to help people find other players nearby. Here, this one's for you. This way, you'll be able to keep playing even after I'm- Just stop! You're gonna get better, you hear me? I don't need this thing. I don't want it! Hmm. I imagine the casket of tomes I gave you is probably gathering dust in a corner somewhere. So, this is my last gift to you. I'm sorry that I could only give it to you now. Do you remember when we first met? You were the only one willing to be friends with the kid with Elazar. Now, it's my turn to help you make some new friends. This way, I'll always be by your side, my friend. I was sad, guys. I lost one of my best friends, you know what I mean? And that was, that was a bit sad to watch, you know what I mean? My life is crazy, mission. huh? Let's go. The final feast. Overture teaser. Oh, the animation looks a bit different, isn't it? The original sin is the fairest. Everyone sinks. Make the most of the final feast. Because for the sinners, the curtain call has come. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, she did it! <laughs> Sing is He's believing, to sing my these fuckers. This has been Linny and Lynette's magic show. They came so out of nowhere, guys. The essence of magic is getting people to believe a lie. And the most important part of this is what people see. <laughs> people don't realize how much they expect their eyes to tell them the truth. Mm. <laughs> but what you see is not real. It's all a show. Well, the show is real. You know what I mean? You pay for something, you get it. And That's it. Part of the show is you don't have to believe control. in it. Controlled how? That's why people watch wrestling. Right you know place. what I mean, guys? And the right people. Hmm. Oh. Is the bad whoever controls these three controls everything but keep your eyes peeled and you might be able to turn things to your advantage I'm loving the music the music is so cool in a nutshell magic is what you see with your own two eyes But it's not enough. <laughs> she looks like... Let me make something clear. You think of yourselves as magicians, but when you're on the stage, you're first and foremost actors. Good actors hone their craft to mesmerize the whole crowd. Oh yeah, she's the villain I seen with the... Yeah, 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 I remember her. All right, so she's interlinked with with them. Like, okay. Is she a magician? It looks like it. Boring. I mean, why do I even bother? When are we going to finally see a real twist for once? Hmm. Please refrain from levity in the court. This trial is far from over. All right, what kind of trial, I wonder? Are they on trial? Interesting. Glory and Dears in Legacy. Magic should be mysterious, 
surprising and defy logic. Should be, eh? Yeah? Magic is hard work. Every single movement has to be practiced thousands of times. It's alright, we're used to that. God, they're so cute. They're small here. Oh my god. We're sorry. Look at you them. You taught us so much, but we can't What's tell you the whole truth. Glory and tears in legacy. It's okay. Do you still Bro, they just what look I told like you? brother and sister. Have they mentioned this before? Like, even their eye color is the same. Like, they are the same age. They look the same. They have the same build. I wonder. Am did I miss it? Because when I when they first introduced. Uh, when the game first introduced them, them, they say, you know, he said once or twice, my assistant, my assistant. I don't ever recall him saying that it's her sister. Bo no, sorry, sorry, my assistant. Yeah, he. They said my. He said my assistant, my assistant. I don't remember uh, them uh, saying at any 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 stage that uh, their brothers and sisters, but they look the same. They have the same color. Even hair color is the same. Mm, you know this what I mean, guys? They look twi like falsehoods. twins. They look like twins. I only hope that one day you can find your own truth. Mm. <sighs> what about you? They are Have so you cute. Found your truth? Magic is my truth. I want to perform a magic trick so great that people will always think of me when they talk about it. For a magician, what greater honor could there be? I don't know. Behold! Linny is sealed inside the box. Will he manage to escape? Ten years ago, Caesar attempted this very trick, and it was at this precise moment that... Mysterious. What? Surprising. This is and gorgeous, guys. Defying. Isn't that right? This honor belongs to you, Caesar. That was his trick, man. I'm just sorry it's a little late. I wonder, so he died performing that trick. Hmm. I think so. That's what they are implying, isn't it? That he died uh, performing that trick. At the Tempest's Rocks. Where are they? They are on the same. They are fighting Navia. What? Oh, no, Navia. I was, yeah. Hmm. Who are these mechanical bastards like? They have the same design as... You know. Don't hate me guys, don't hate me. Dear God, it's a whole army of Gardamex. Gardamex, they're called. Who's here? Ah, oh, yeah, Clorin. Oh, he is shield of this fucking badass, man. <laughs> Lightning style, baby. Lightning style. Quick, now's our chance. Mmm. Fry them up. Fry them up. Time to get zapped. Ooh. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Hmm. Nasty. She's about to faint, is it? Okay, what's the backstory behind them? Were they lovers? Do you know, because it looked it looked to me like 
They have a bit of a backstory. The time has yet to come. Oh, they kind of like, okay. They're here. They're here. Just like I said. <laughs> By the way, thanks for explaining You're just in the time. But thing for when, you know, <clears throat> about his grace. That is not really, he's not really a nobleman, but they are referring to him like this. Thanks for explaining that. Man, I love his design. What? What the fuck is going on? What's coming? Like, I can see that. Is that acid or is that kind of... What's happening? We're gonna shut down the doors. Mmm. That <laughs> almost gave me a fucking heart attack. Okay. This won't hold it for long. Find Nuvilet. Tell him the defenses are about to collapse. Mm. Until he arrives, we're the last line of defense. Man, I need to play this fucking game, man. This is hyping me up so much. How long do you think it'll hold? That I'm like a fucking us. kid, man. I, this is like, I feel that, you know, those butterflies, like, you know, in my stomach, it's just hyping me up so much. I just, I need to fucking play this game. I don't know if my PC is gonna handle it, but I think so. I think so. It will. If my phone ha handles my, it, my, to you my, both. uh, I'll take it from here. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, actually, no, what am I saying? I have the, I have the, I have. Sure, you don't need a hand? I don't even know. Quite sure. I have Honkai Star Rail on my phone. Wow. So, what's your secret, huh? Uh, let me guess. I'm a badass. I'm a badass. Nah, who knows? Maybe it's just your sense of responsibility. I'm a badass. That's my secret. <laughs> I'm a boss. Sounds about right. I'm a boss. You know what I mean? That's the secret. I can own shit. You know what I mean? Go for it, my man. That's the secret. I'm him. I'm fucking him. Have we seen no a new villain in action so far? I don't think so. Yo. A day may come when the prophecy is fulfilled and the waters burst forth. But it is not this day. Mmm. <laughs> Preach it, man. Power could easily obliterate an entire race. A tsunami of fury would unleash endless catastrophe. It's like he's reversing time, isn't it? Crazy. He added the seal. His eyes are so sick, man. This sentence is too Forgive severe. me for overruling it. Hmm. Interesting. Who he's apologizing to, I wonder. Part of Cleared Springs. Oh yeah, by the way, let me see how many videos we have left. Let me pause it for a second, guys. Oh, we are still recording. Everything is flying. Oh, what's this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, stop with this. Why am I gonna... No, thanks. I have a CC Cleaner bot, yeah? And... They are still trying to sell me something, you know, bro, I bought a whole CC cleaner pack and they're still trying to sell me something and they're still giving me notifications, it's crazy, like it's pissing me off. Um, 
37, 38, we're at 38, we have 44 altogether. All right, let's go, not that bad. We still have another, another like... Far from my native land, I roam. Uh, six, seven of them, in about half hour slept, left or something. Many seasons I met as the sun set and rose. I searched for a garden to call a home. And the Again. moonlight ebbed as the water Artwork flowed. is looking crazy. What's the name of it again? Heart of Clear Springs. A soft breeze beckoned me unto a spring. Mm. Sleep, weary wanderer. Your journey is over. May the dancing petals sweeten your slumber. At dawn, I hummed the melody of a distant stream. And the songs in the night serenaded my dreams. A boy's tender tears trembled through the water. Stirring me more than any starlight sonata. Starting to be a bit hungry. He wove me a wreath from past petals and future buds. I crossed beyond the veil of dreams to the realm of flesh and blood. Look at the love that shines from his eager gaze. Answer the call of his heart, lest this moment go to waste. The kittens and fireflies invited my heartstrings to sing. But I was a stranger to the melody of mankind, and knew not how this tune should begin. As the river of dreams trickled into the ocean blue, every time a crystal fly flapped its wings, older it seemed he grew. Mm. But I learned to fathom human ways each stumbling step I took, and clouds of confusion became crystal clear in the vulnerable verse I wrote. This is the bird. A seed oh, no. for soil and trees for the sun. A once foreign melody inside my heart sung. And it cried out your name on every string it could strum. What's this? Now I give my dream to you. May it be in your slumber a sweet spring to quench your thirst. Oh, I remember seeing him. Now I hand my heart to you. Praying my belated promise might meet still with your trust. Hmm. All right. I don't know what that was about. I got again another clip or two like this that I can't connect them with the story because I, you know, I don't have that context. You know, you know what I mean, guys. But I'm sure you guys know exactly what they're on about. La you Vague, vague let. She's not coming. You're wrong. She's here. Mm. Oh man, her voice. I got fucking chills all over my body, guys. Her voice is... But what about your wish? My... wish... Human, you can reveal your secret to no one. You will face suffering and loneliness. Is this truly what you want? Way to see this in the concert. This has to be in the concert. Has to be. <sighs> Fuck. I was.
by the way that's a beautiful hat you can order a hat like that but it's gonna cost you about 350 euros it's crazy the work you know what i mean there's few companies who do them but they're not cheap i know because i ordered one for festival a few years ago like six years ago i think seven years ago i didn't pay that much but it was close to that price All devouring narwhal. Narwhal. Narwhal is the actual sea animal that we have, the one with the unicorn thing. Do you know what I mean, guys? There's an actual creature. Again, talking about references, real life references, and narwhal, guys. If you have not seen a narwhal, look it up, or Google it. You're gonna be like amazed. Of that creature acts actually exists in, in the ocean, right? Who's this? The fuck? Mm. Collective effort, Jesus. He just switched dimensions. What's this? Who's this? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god, they're killing me with these fucking cliffhangers, I swear. Teasers, whatever you wanna call them, like... Sinner's Finale. <sighs> the hour of my execution is almost here. Hmm. For the sinner, the curtain call has come. I know I may not sound it, but faced with death, I find myself a little afraid. Perhaps this is one thing both gods and humans have in common. <laughs> Farewell, Nervalet. I hope you've enjoyed the party for these 500 years. What she said again? Let me see again what she said at the end. I hope you enjoyed what? I didn't read, I, I couldn't read the part you the played, part these, you played 500 these 500 years. years. Okay. Hmm. New Villette always looks like, I don't know why, but I don't understand his convictions and everything, Like, but he always looks like he's in a dream or he's like, he looks like he's not always there, like not always present. I don't know why I have, I get that feeling from him. <laughs> okay. I like the fact that she was uh, she she didn't have any 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 anything on her feet, like you know she was barefooted. I really like that. What happened? She died, bro. What? That sword fell on her. Hmm, what's happening? I need more context. I need more context. Thank you, Furina. Oh yeah, one of you guys said to me that Furina is... is happily as a human, just as I wished we could. Don't understand what's going on here. Now you act up, bro. You are just there. Pissing me off. I, Udex Nuvilet, hereby declare People of Fontaine, your sins are forgiven. Okay. Okay.
she died because she wanted to die, like, you know, but I won't. Orina. I, you know, there's few things I don't, I don't get from that, from that story. If anybody wants to explain, I would be more than happy. If you, guys, guys, if you don't feel like you need to explain, don't, don't do it. Because I will play the game eventually, but if it's not a massive spoiler, I would like to know, you know what I mean? I would really appreciate it. <sighs> Two musketeers. Oh, why did I have to get roped into this? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what was that? Who's there? Guys, did you hear that scream? Did you really Guys, did you hear that you scream? <laughs> Get me out! Get me out of here! Oh, I woke up my cat. Did you really think you'd get away, Morris? Morris? <laughs> guy has such a vocal cord, I swear. You, you've got the wrong guy. It wasn't me. I, I, I'm not the killer. <laughs> you know, Eliza died a far more heroic death than this. She fought your assassin to the end to save the children she had hidden beneath the floorboards. Mmm. What's the backstory that I that don't know? Yeah? Pendant, the one with a photo of you two inside. The one uh, you gave her. Ring any bells? It's a fake! It has to be! There's no way! No way your assassin didn't destroy it, you mean? Mmm. <laughs> Did you ever love her, Morris? Or was killing her always the plan? No, 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 please. Listen to me. I told Eliza to keep us a secret. I paid her plenty for her silence. I never thought she'd keep the child. Everything was going to come out, and I had no choice. She forced my hand. No. I'm making you. I have money. Just just name your price, please. You can keep your Mora, and you can go to hell. Yeah. By the way. What? I'm Captain Shavraz of the Special Patrol. Morris, you're under arrest for Eliza's murder. Him, huh? this fucking prick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have it on tape. Just fucking kill him and fucking. All right, all right. You're under arrest too. Prop manager Veronique. Fuck you! Or perhaps I should call you the second musketeer. Alright, she was trying to cover her tracks, but I wish she would have she would have succeeded. And then being called later, I, I wish she would have she would have marked that guy. Bro, what? You're trying to kill your wife? Your wife, Eliza, was his wife, or not, well, sorry, not his wife, but a oh, woman who, they had a child together. Hold on a second, they had a child together, and this guy tried to fucking, what, cover his tracks? Because that kid was, what, gonna get his inheritance? I'm just making this up, guys, but, you know, sounds about right, you know? Bro, just... Just chop him up and throw him into the river. Like, fuck him. He killed a woman. Like, that little prick. And he hired somebody to do it. He's not, doesn't even have the... Ah, let's go, let's go, let's go. Hidings so of an auspicious start? beast. <laughs> Stop Patience. motion animation. Any discussion of this beast must first begin with Chen Yu Vale. A land of tiered peaks shrouded in billowing mist. Replete with stories of illuminated beasts. As for the subject of your curiosity, let us call it the Solitary Swanee. Swanee. It is a symbolic and auspicious animal, said to be related to the Adepti. Yep, again. Legends say the Swanee traverses the land under the cover of mist. Are the Adepti... Well, anyway, let's go, let's go, let's go. That's probably I'm gonna Nearly fuck it up. Detectable, save only for the faintest outline of holes. I'm just thinking like the crane that we've seen, the stag and all these, those are adeptized. But then again, I think in there's like, you know, 
the, yeah, the, like the creatures who can, you know, take human form and things like that. But I might be wrong. Let's go. Look at the design. Look at his design. When at ease, what did they say? Only for the faintest outline of horns. Okay. When at ease, it rests with its eyes closed and legs crossed. I have to print screen this. Hold on a second, guys. I have to print screen this. This is so beautiful. Boom. That's it. Its eyes closed and legs crossed. Yet should the situation turn dangerous, the fury of the Swanee will be unleashed. It moves with the swiftness of windswept clouds. It attacks with the ferocity of a roaring waterfall. But <laughs> some people say this time of peace has forced the Swanee into a life of seclusion mm. far beyond our reach. <laughs> Still, those are just a few old legends I've heard in my time. You again? Getting all that across in a wusho dance might prove tricky, no? The guy knows it all, innit? It's love him, it. though. Guys, I love him. Perfect. I just gotta work at it. <laughs> you see? Manzai agrees with me. I'm loving the stop motion picture, guys, by the way. The stop motion animation. Vibrant Harriers aloft in Spring Breeze Cutscenes animation. Kites in the wind. I love kites. Kites, by the way, this reminded, reminded me of kites. It's been such a long time since I haven't uh, played with a kite. I think it's at least 10 years. Last time I think I was traveling in Holland and we was at Nordic Sea there and I got a kite and I used to play with a kite. But yeah, that that was like 2014, about 10 years ago. I love kites. Come here, allow me. That looked like the Yaksha for a second, guys. Like a Yaksha for a second. You know what I mean? Just for a split second, I just got that feeling. The beats are crazy. This guy, man, is a proper, proper performer. Is he standing on water? Jesus Christ! Literally. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just a more badass version of him. Or you can just say he has mastered chakra. Whatever. I'm just playing, guys. You see, like I would, I would say that she's an adept type, but I, uh, com I might be wrong completely. Do not burn me in the comment section, guys. You know, like keep in mind that I have seen so many videos lately that my just my head is just like bombarded with information. So I would kind of make few mistakes. You know what I mean? Hmm. What? We have cameras in this bitch. That's mad. That many pictures already? Uh, All right. Down. Okay, fair enough. Old camera. You know, I was like, is that a Canon 3600? <laughs> I'm just playing, guys. Wait, 
Wow, that was so beautiful. Mmm. Hmm. Happy Lantern Right. <laughs> Happy Lantern Right. It's a big thing, yeah. Big festi festival like uh, the Lantern Right. I like it. Why is he looking down? Mmm. Is that a new one? Oh wow. Huh. Why was he feeling down uh, down for a second? You know, I thought I got that feeling of him. Hmm. That was it, yeah? That was it. Guys, gorgeous, gorgeous. I still, my mind is, is, is like still on that story about the samurai and the yokai. I don't know, that just stuck in my head. That just, it, it was so beautiful, but it just felt so unsatisfying at the end, you know, like I, we didn't get a conclusion. We can draw our own conclusion, of course. Ah, but anyway yeah no all of all the stories were nice all the stories all the stories it was absolutely amazing i really enjoyed uh watching the story uh teasers you know what i mean i hope you guys actually enjoyed watching with me and i really appreciate the comments guys um i just want to say i know a lot of people not even watch because when i checked my audience retention and a lot of people watch towards towards the end of the video but for you guys who watch it you know, who watch you know i mean i just want to say a massive thank you guys you know for sticking to me uh, sticking with me towards the end uh, to the end you know what i mean and it means a lot you know it really means a lot uh thanks for subscribing thanks for liking my videos you know thanks for engaging with with the content you know like and 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 first and foremost, actually, thanks very much for sharing, you know. I seen I had like 24 shares last week, you know, and I, re I really appreciate it, you know, like it means a lot to me, you know, knowing that somebody cares enough, you know, to share my content and likes my content, you know what I mean? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm getting overly emotional, you know what I mean? It's the wine. It's the wine, guys, you know what I mean? So, yeah um what's next yeah the next next thing is i'm gonna do the concerts uh i think i'm gonna start with the shanghai concert because some of you has re have recommended the shanghai concert a few times you know and i think i'm gonna do that but i'm gonna do all of them you know i am gonna watch all of them the music is just gorgeous i can't wait to do it i'm gonna actually do it after i'm finishing this video i'm just gonna grow go in the kitchen grab a bite and then straight away gonna uh, gonna react to the shanghai concert you know what i mean okay i think that's it i would say you know thanks very much for watching with me uh, like i said and yeah i'll see you on the next reaction video you know the weekend is nearly there we are half halfway there you know like halfway in the in the working week thursday and then i have off on friday i'm delighted i'm gonna pull up videos for you guys like crazy um and yeah i'll see you on the next reaction video guys if you have any kind of suggestions don't hesitate drop them in the comment section i do print screen every comment that i see with a suggestion and eventually i'm gonna draw my own conclusion but but the the goal is the mindset is to react to everything you know what i mean so just if you have any recommendations post them down by the way I just want to say now at the very end, thanks very much to uh, Slot Chris Ngan. Thanks very much for for uh, sending me sending me the ZZZ uh, today. You know, I mean the content on the Discord. I really appreciate it. You're making my life so 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 easy. You know, I mean, I it's like you read my mind. I didn't even ask you. I think I spoke about it in, in the previous video, but just so you know, I really appreciate you, you know, and thanks very much for that, you know. And yeah, I would say that's it, you know, I'll see you on the next, next video, guys. You know, hope you have a great day and stay safe, be weird. Bye.